all right welcome back everyone this is our playlist this is our series on 90 days security challenge for comptia security plus exam preparation all right so i hope you're enjoying it so far and from now onwards things are going to be a bit more interesting and you have to be prepared for this all right so before we get started make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new to it and this is definitely gonna boost me up to make more and more videos like this right so let's get started so the first thing is we need to learn about what exactly is quantitative risk assessment well we have already learned about the risk assessment but the uh, when we talk about the quantitative risk it's all about uh, what all you need to do to convince the manager or how the manager or the the approval or the senior management get convinced with your point of, of applying the controls right for them they there is a very interesting way the numbers right the way the entire world works so the quantitative risk assessment works on the numbers what numbers dollars right well it's not necessarily has to be a dollar every time for different organization it can be any number uh, but remember this uh, quantitative risk analysis is all about presenting the risk based on dollars so that the it would be easier for the senior management to take a right decision now uh, to uh, there are some maths going to be used throughout the session so make sure you are ready with it those there are two things we need to remember in order to calculate the risk uh, the first is the asset value and the second is the exposure factor now um, will for this entire session will be go, will we are going to take an example but for now just remember asset value is the uh, you know a, any any asset that generates the amount of value the amount of value generated by any asset okay so that's what it is it could be 10,000 20,000 per day so any asset uh, the amount of value generated by any asset per day that becomes the asset value an exposure factor is simply uh, you know it's basically gives you the idea about the percentage of asset value loss when an, an uh, negative incident happened let's say any moment of a time if the incident happened or the device goes offline what would be the loss for that day so for example it, it usually in the percentage so if it is one if the exposure factor is one that means if one incident happen we lose everything that means if the asset value if the asset generates somewhere around 1000 a day let's say asset value is 1000 and if one incident occur in a day and in that case if the ef value is one that means we'll lose 1000 entirely so that what that's what i mean if your ef is one that means we lose 1000 a day if your ef is 0.5 that means we lose 500 dollars per day so that's how we calculate the ef now um there's going to be a lot of stuff about how we even calculate the ef right so let's move to it now uh, it is needed uh, the both of the values the uh, EF the expect uh, the the EF value and even if you look at it the exposure factor and the asset value both of them needed equally to calculate the SLE now the SLE is the single loss expectancy now this is basically how much loss is experienced during one negative incident and it is calculated by this now why it is needed it is needed because of something we are going to calculate at the end so for now just focus on the math don't worry about anything else just be with me and focus on the math for example we are going to take an example of our store maybe online uh, grocery store maybe a smaller one smaller one let's say the asset value of the server you know the 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 server on which our um, the online grocery store is hosted the asset value of that server is uh, maybe ten thousand dollars why because that generates ten thousand a day so that is the ten thousand a day that's how we calculate it okay ten thousand a day 
now uh, let's imagine if the uh, the downtime happens let's say the device goes down because of maybe anything maybe ddos attack or maybe a power issue or maybe uh, you know outage because of downtime anything so in that case uh, maybe the usually the downtime happen for around if it happens then it goes for around 2 hours okay so let's me type it 2 hours okay so now once you have 2 uh, as the sorry <laughs> 2 hours okay and in that case if you have downtime as 2 usually the expectancy factor the you know the sorry the exposure factor is calculated by the downtime divided by 24 because the downtime is in hours okay and we need to calculate the downtime for the day the exposure factor so that's why we divide by 24 to calculate the average so that becomes my um, 0 0.12 that means 12% right so that's my exposure factor now so the SLE now the SLE which is the single loss expectancy value becomes the uh, asset value which is of ten thousand dollars right into twelve percent which is zero point one two and that becomes my twelve hundred dollars so that is the single loss expectancy the amount of loss we can expect from any single incident so if incident happens we can expect at least uh, you know twelve hundred dollars of a loss so that's how we calculate the SLE now why it is needed as I told you earlier this is needed because of some other purpose because we are going to calculate something really bigger then okay now let's move to the next calculation here now we are going to talk about something really important that's uh, analyze loss expectancy and for this we need the SLE now analyze loss expectancy is all about the total loss the total yearly cost of bad things that could happen in the organization for that specific asset so we know for a, for any year in a year I could lose this much of an amount uh, from this assets right so SLE, it, it's the ALE, which is the annualized loss expectancy is calculated by the single loss expectancy in, in multiply by the number of times the, the incident could happen. So it's pretty obvious, right? So I get the single loss expectancy and I, if I need to calculate the annualized, so I know if it happened two or three times in a year, I can simply multiply it, right? So this is how it basically calculated the, oh, sorry this is a l e so the a l e is becomes my s l e into a r o so in this case what happened is uh, we have calculated the s l e already so uh, we have the s l e value of our online store as 1200 sorry 1200 right so that's the loss we could expect if the asset become unavailable right one time loss so if we want to calculate the annualized loss we just multiply the ALE this is very important as a part of the exam so you should remember that you take multiple example you can have multiple example for this same same calculation so you get SLE into uh, the number of occurrence which is our ARO right so uh, our SLE is 1200 and we know it could happen maybe two times in a year so that becomes my 1400 2400 dollars all right so that's how we calculated ALE now wh wh what's the purpose what's the benefit of it see now my overall asset value was how much if you remember correctly the asset value was ten thousand dollars right so my asset value was ten thousand dollars and my annualized loss expectancy the amount of loss I could I could expect in the entire year is twenty four hundred so what is the point now the point is 
if uh, if the cost of deploying the security control is uh, maybe 2400 or probably less than that it makes sense to apply the controls right if the cost of applying the security control is probably three thousand or four thousand dollars it doesn't make sense to apply the security control for such loss that's the entire point that's why it is called quantitative control because just by looking at the uh, just by looking at the ALE itself anybody can decide okay if if I think the loss for this asset which is giving me a value of ten thousand dollars a year if uh, if that loss is 24 you know 2400 i could think about deploying some solution i could think about deploying any kind of a solution which is either 2400 or probably uh, less than that right so if it is beyond that i'm not going to go with that so that's how the 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 you know quantitative risk analysis or the assessment is basically calculated I know this was pretty a uh, bit longer if you have any question any doubt about any of uh, any of the points any of the math or the example itself you can ask me in the comment thank you so much for watching